Okay, starting now. No time to explain. We're watching uh, Stormblood. The Mists. Oh, that's a cool statue, though. What are you talking about? This, uh... That's a nice shot, actually. Okay, yep, and there's the... I mean, so I guess this is going to be showing off, apparently, Alamigo? And I guess... Was the Dancer a new class for this as well, or something? And the Monk? Or are they both... Are these both monks or are these both dancers? Or is one one or the other? Wait. Wait, I just realized, isn't that supposed to be the... Oh, that's it! That's Lise! Wait. Sorry, I don't know why that just occurred to me. And then that's supposed to be a warrior of light. Right? I can catch up with things. And there's random people. So I don't know. I'm not used to seeing either of those people in that context. They're fighting. Is that allowed? It feels like that'd be like an important monument. Can you fight on that? Hmm. Oh. This is Alamigo. Okay. There's just like this oasis. Red versus blue. Neat. Okay. That's where Alamigo is. Garlem Hall is still ominous over there. Spooky. It's like those characters are almost English. Doma? This is Doma. Wait, no. Don't tell me it's not. It's Atlantis Doma. I thought we were going to Alamigo. Wait, what? Hmm. Gasp. Wait, is that going to be the Warrior of Light again? That feels kind of cheaty to have them be both new classes at once. They also cause property damage. He's like, I'm the hero. I did a good thing destroying that guy's house. Oh, that's so pretty. Wait, do we actually get to go to Doma then? They wouldn't they wouldn't tease Doma if you don't get to go to Doma, would they? Are there two new areas for Stormblood? Is that what this is that what I'm learning? Is that the truth? And those two again. I guess because they have problems or something. Ooh. Oh, and there's Yoshitaka Mano coming through. Storm. I think we're going to two different areas. Don't tell me we isn't. Oh. That is cool. I That's actually one thing I kind of... It's kind of sad is that like... Because I've been playing since Endwalker came out, I always just get, like, the generic uh, Endwalker. I get, like, the Endwalker opening thing instead of, like, the, the expansion I'm currently in. Which I wish I could see the expansion I'm in, because I feel like that would make more sense. 
It looks cool. It's all fiery and such. So are we going to two areas then? Is that what this is? Unless well, she's a monk, not a dancer. And that's not a dancer. Okay, so that that was those were monks. Okay. Wait, so what are the, there's there was two new classes introduced for Stormblood, right? Or am I crazy? Uh oh. Oh, I was just playing it again. I guess it's playing it again. But I guess we can look for Stormblood or the Square Enix on the statue. Um, the answer was introduced in Shadowbringers. Okay, so wait, what's was it only Samurai then that was the new class? No, Red Mage. That's what it was. But Red Mage isn't even in the the patch trailer at all. I guess. Oh, it does say Square Enix. You're right. I guess it's. I don't think I've seen your impress with cutscenes. No, these cutscenes are always really nice. Like, I, I will say, just like watching through this again, it feels like this these cutscenes really go out of their way to show off um, the locations. And they at least are showing off the new samurai class a little bit. Um, but it's not really giving any context as to what will be happening, actually. Because, like, Heavensward kind of gave you some clues about, like, the, the whole dragon-y situation. It was going to be a big part of Heavensward, right? Like, it shows the Dragon Song War is happening. And Realm Reborn gives you that whole sequence with uh, the Calamity. This one doesn't really give any kind of a hint of what the conflict will be for the, the expansion. So that's kind of interesting. There's Japanese Atlantis. Good, good. I'm curious if we get to go inside of that place, because that seems cool. That's exactly great. The trailer set to the tone, not really a lot of stuff. Well, I mean, yeah, I mean, at least for this one, that's what it's doing. Like, I feel like the previous patch, like the previous expansion trailers. Yeah, the, the previous expansion trailers, um, I feel like they kind of at least gave you a hint about what was going to happen. But I guess this one is keeping it close to the vest. I'm just going to kind of peer out. Actually, I could move to... We don't need to watch it a, a third time, I don't think. I'll just move to my character screen. As STV's trailer sucks, a lot of people say. I mean, it definitely, like, it's really cool. And, like, I mean, it's always, like, the trailer is beautiful to look at. But it doesn't... It felt more like they were just kind of showing things off more than they were, like, telling what the... I don't know. I, I guess because the, the job of a trailer, a good trailer anyway, is that you should know... You know, you think, like, a movie trailer, right? Like, a movie trailer usually gives you some some semblance of who the characters are and the story is going to be. Like, if a trailer... A movie came out and it was literally just a bunch of like scene like shots of like the scenery with, like maybe like a fight scene you'll be like i don't know if i want to watch this movie red mage seems to have been shafted a little bit for some reason which is weird because red mage is like one of the classic uh classes for final fantasy it's like been around since final fantasy one so it's weird that all the promotional material uh really kind of squandered it that's kind of a shame you see, Erismo says tone trailers are a thing. Yeah, I mean, it, it works. It still gets you hyped for the content, I guess. Killian says, was Heavensward trailer spoilers of Heavensward to you? I mean, Heavensward trailer, I don't know if I would say it was spoilers. But, like, I would say, like, I mean, because you kind of go into Heavensward knowing that there's going to be dragons. Like, that... Everything that set like in in Romerborn really sets you up for like oh yeah here be dragons. So I mean, it wasn't super spoilery that like there was gonna be dragon wars and I think it even gives a shot in Nidhogg a couple of times. Like it it was not hiding that that was gonna be a main main feature of the expansion. And granted, there were there were other things that happened in Heavensward that went beyond what the trailer showed. But especially, like, at least like the first half of Heaven's Word, it really gives you a good idea of what you're getting into. But no, I mean, that was still, that was a fun trailer. Like, it definitely, uh, gets you, gets you hyped. It's, I mean, thus far, I think Heaven's Word is probably still, like, my favorite of the three trailers I've seen. Like, Realm of Borns is good. It's a good one, especially, like, when you get the expanded version of the trailer. Uh, during the Coils of Bahamut. Like, that's really good. 
But I don't know, like Heaven's Word just gets you like so hype. Yeah, so that that's a uh, I don't know, that was fun. It's 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 always exciting to to see a new trailer. It's like that feels like a really good like landmark moment of like progress in the game. It's like it's like proof we've we've made it to a checkpoint, I guess. We're we're at the third trailer 